Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. We have to be a little bit quick, but previously we went through Bleak Falls Barrow and got the Dragonstone. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It is circling overhead with Brilliant, I can handle. This talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. <laughs> Burn it. Irelet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. Need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You want me to fight it? Survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Kill this dragon before it can attack White Rock. No, I can't afford Oh boy, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly write a little journal entry because I'd like to go over with you that last time we went through Bleak Falls Barrow. I just chose a very bad time to end it off yesterday because I wanted this one to be our first dragon kill. Anyways, let's go ahead and write it, shall we? So, dear Rosemary is confused. She reached White One and found what they call a Jarl, and he sent them to fetch a stone. In that damn cavern, Bleak Falls Barrow, they called it, she found spiders, bandits, and the undead. But upon finding a man stuck in webs, she felt a thirst, a foreign thirst. She cut him down from the webs and then cut him down only to put her teeth into his neck and feed. She knows not what she is. She has the stone, though, from deeper inside the tomb. Having returned to Whiterun, they've spotted a dragon, and they want her to help kill it. Her! She is utterly confused. But unfortunately for her, she has no choice in the matter. So we have been uh, able, we well, have been able, we are now able to buy property in this place. White run, as it would be. And that's great and all, but the idea I have is let's go to some shops and, you know, get offload some stuff. Because I need to, um, I need to lose some carry weight, especially if we're going to go kill a dragon. So, I will see you when we're a bit further down the road. Also, well, actually, let's wait in here until about 9 a.m. And when we're done, I will be down at the shops. I'll see you in a moment. All right, welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. What have you got for sale, my friend? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You can never not hear Nick Valentine from him anymore. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. <laughs> you got anything I'd want before I sell you stuff? I mean, you have, ooh, Contra Skeleton. Not sure that's the best thing, but we're going to need also some extra firepower. We'll talk to Ariana down at the forge to make sure we have enough firepower to kill what we're going to need to kill. Now... What I do need to do is I need to sell you some stuff, preferably stuff that weighs a bit, and not my pelts. But what I can do is while we're down near Ariana's forge, we can use her forge to essentially cut all this stuff down. That'd be good. But for the time being, let me sell you these draughts. They're worth a fair bit. And also, let me sell you the skulls. Let me actually do skull for the filter. Bam, we will sell you these skulls. Although you actually ran out of money. What do you know? That doesn't have the skull on it, so... I will buy these. They're, well, it gets us the money we need to uh, use the 
sell him the rest of the skulls, essentially, or the other skull, and we get some actual use out of it, you know? It's good. Now, that's apparently a blue diamond. That is entirely unrefined. Obviously, there's obsidian, which is in the shape of the dragon stone. There's gold, native, aquamarine. This is a bunch of stuff. But for now, I don't think I need to buy much of any of it, especially given I'm trying to keep uh, inventory space. But we'll also buy a lockpick, and I'm pretty sure this is a unique golden urn, right? Well, if it isn't, who knows? And it was only one gold. Hmm. I don't know. He also has some unique things in here. Like this. We'll come back for that later, when we can steal it or buy it. Either way, let's see what else is in here before we get to go into Adriana's Forge. Like, maybe we could... Ooh, what a nice strong box. You wouldn't mind if I were to uh, repurpose these things you have. Right? Ooh, there we go. No, no, there we go. No, he wouldn't mind if I take an ingot and some gold from him. He's a nice fellow, right? Yeah, he is. Ah, the sunlight! It burns me! What are you doing? Oh my. Well, we'll leave that alone. No need to butt my nose into whatever that is. No siree. Seems the missive board actually has some things for me to do, although we won't be doing any of that yet. No, no, no. We need to get settled down before that can happen. Adriana. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Uh, so, I'd like to ask what you have for sale. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I believe you. And do you have anything from... World's Dawn doesn't seem like it's nothing I want to buy from that area. Oh, how I'd love to buy all your iron, but unfortunately I can't afford to right now. So hold on. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I'm going to use this tanning rack. And I'm going to make, as you can see here, leather. So wolf pelt goes from whatever it weighs to just one weight. Bam! A bear pelt was eight in Cinemix three leather, which is much, or actually makes four leather, so that's about half the weight it previously was. And we just do this for everything, including the cow hides, all of it. You see why this is important? Because being able to make all this will shoot our smithing skill up. And as you can see, a poor skeever pelt only gets me some leather strips, uh, ruined pelts as well. But we can now make these, these lovely things, which I believe we have some that I never put on like an idiot. You're probably yelling at me like, hey, put on your imperial pouches. You have front left, back left, and side left. Your side can literally be full of pouches, which gives me all that space. Yeah, that was me being a bit stupid. But what we're going to do is we're not actually going to wear those, no. We're going to make uh, leather ones of our own creation that can actually be uh, used properly. So we need to make some more leather strips. I'll make leather strips until we have about, if I can quit getting pulled down, till we have about 40 leather. There we go. That'll get us a level up as well. So let us, ooh, I could get rid of the Mara amulet to have a big backpack on my back. Uh, but I would lose the restoration spells. For the time being, before we think about doing anything else, let's get all these pouches back left, back right, front left, front right, side left, and side right. Bam. And let's also get that big backpack on the back. Let's put on all this and see how much carrying capacity I have. Bam, 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 bam. And we also put on the big leather backpack. So we have 737. That is more excellente. Adriana, what have you got for sale? Yes, you do. So now what we want to sell you is, ooh, I can't sell you the clothing. That's interesting. I forget, I forget which mod does this. But essentially, she'll only ex accept armor, which means she won't accept jewelry, 
or uh, the clothing. I have clothing, quote-unquote, which includes the leather bandoliers, which I was going to sell to her. Interesting. She also has no interest in ancient Lord arrows, but she does have interest in steel arrows. Although, I don't know how much damage they do. Hold on, hold on. I know, I just did that. Bleh. So does it matter what kind of arrows? Because, uh... Well, we'll keep the steel arrows, I guess. I don't really have much to sell to you. Yep, thanks for the business. I haven't actually bought anything from you. So, let's buy iron ore out the ass. Iron ingots. As many of those as I can buy. And then any other bits of ore that are cheap? No. Alright, let's go over to this bit. And smelt up the ore we have. We don't look great right now, trust me, I know. But, okay, here's something else I wanted to show you all. This is what augmenting dust can be made into. Up to gem, crystal, and then stone. Stone is the highest. It's like a black version of the white crystal. The stone is the best, and it's what's used to transfer enchantments over from World's Dawn. As you can see down here. Uh, that's another crystal, but then there's the stone. This is the best thing you can get. But to get it, you need essentially five crystals. And to get a crystal, you need 70 dust. Everything so far that we've broken down has only got us 124 dust. So we make the crystal, we make some gems, the stone is used to transfer, and then the gem, the crystal, and the dust can be used to upgrade enchantments with varying degrees of efficiency. So let's take all the iron ore and melt it up into iron ingots. Lovely. Do not melt down the iron mall. Don't do that. Uh, do we have any other ore? No, I don't think we do. Cool. So these are for jewelry making as well, but we won't be getting into that yet. Let's get that level up used. Ta-da! Let's get our stamina up because that's the thing that's lagging a bit behind and is penalized by sunlight. We are a vampire after all. So, move over to one-handed. We are using one-handed. No, don't you move over to one-handed. Move over to archery. So, we want to do... Hmm. We want to do more damage with the bow because we're about to fight, guess what, a dragon. So they do 50% more damage as critical strikes with bows and crossbows. Do 2% more critical damage per level of archery. So, critical damage is now up. 42% additional? That's great. <laughs> that is actually great. So, move over to that. We have steel arrows and our spring steel bow. And apparently this does no damage. I'm not sure why the damage is being... Oh, because we're in the um, sun. Apparently. Hello, merchant. Ooh. I also want to check what you have before we go forward into, you know, the abyss of an enemy that will likely kill me many times over. I mean, you have a bunch of stuff. Holy lady, what? Oh, I can sell to you. Ooh, let's sell to you the backpack, the imperial pouches we don't need. Um, we'll get rid of some potions of magicka for the time being. Uh, weak Frenzy. Oh, yeah, Frenzy for level 5. That's not going to be anything. Get rid of the scrolls, and then we will sell you... Well, I'm going to sell you anything that's essentially not raw meat down here. So, all of this goes to you. And then we will get that raw meat put together later. Uh, we don't want to sell you any of that, and we have some gems we could sell you. You have plenty of gold. You won't mind, right? If I just give you all of this, right? <laughs> just give me what you think it's worth. There we go, and some small animal bones for you. Not sure why you'd want that, but hey. Uh, anything else I need to sell to you before I get going? No, I don't. Lovely. Well... I think it's time we quit stalling and get a moving. All right, we're approaching the watchtower. Ereleth and her guardsmen are already there. It's about time we got ready to take a dragon down. Illyria. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around. <laughs> 
and look for survivors. We need to know what you're feeling. Oh, my blood is burning in the light. Look at all these people just walking about their day as if nothing happened. Oh, I'd like to avoid killing the guards in future, so let's make sure we get some armor while we're here. Where? Where? There! Into the tower! We must reach the top! What's the hurry? There's a dragon! What isn't the hurry? Where are you? Oh boy. Get to the top of the tower. Fire down upon it! Mirmunir! You shall die! Oh, there's a chest up here. Don't forget that. We're not taking what's in it now. Badoomp. Okay, okay. Let's get our wolf out. Let's make sure we have something else for it to hit. Take out the shield. Do a quick save in case something goes wrong. We're heading in! We are not cowards! To me! Don't run away! Don't run from me! <sighs> I am brave, yes I am! Block the damage! Need to heal? I should have some. Use the shout section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force. Oh boy. So we now have unrelenting force. Hold on. We also want to use Mirmunia. And we want to harvest ingredients off the guy. We'll also search him to see if he had anything in his gullet as well. Did you? You had some... Oh, you had a copper coin. You did have some white run guard armor. We want to take that for later. There is a display for that. Dragon what now? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That will prove it. Okay. According to the old legend, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragon. Can't hear you all through the rain. Just 
spread out the land. I advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm for the scales and legs. You really are dragon for like other the old tales. You ought to be able to shout if you can catch me. Let me try. No. Um. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go grab what's in that chest and report to the Jarl, I guess. That'd be the idea, right? So let's see what unique item we have up here, because I believe each one of these, uh, lovely little chests has one. Ooh. Let's do exactly that. So... An amulet of Xenathar, that's not unique, but it's nice to have. A gem, an iron robe. This has nothing on it that's unique. Neophyte robe isn't unique. Uh, although that is really, really good. Uh, 80 armor, uh, magic resistance, magic regeneration, and destruction spells. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, this is supposed to be craft only, or even if... Yeah, there, there's something about this that isn't right. We're not going to use it. Petty Soul Gem, plenty of septum, steel arrows, steel ingots, and weak poison. I'll take it. Now, we'll put that away in my little hoard stash later, but for the time being, well... Hmm. I think it's best we head back to Whiterun. Ooh, boy. I will, um... Yeah, you can't fast travel to Dragon's Reach, so we'll fast travel to Whiterun. Well, here we are in the pouring rain. The Alakir are at the gate. There it is. There beeth the shout that rumbles the heavens. And the floating error sign that apparently the robes of that kind of outfit do not work on female characters for some reason. I really need to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> That's really jarring. Or at least I need to be able to steal them off of them so, you know what, <laughs> lingerie is better than a freaking red error sign. We need to get up here. Now. Darbalgroof. The thing's dead. Very, very dead. Your Balgroof, I return. Good, you're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Hello, Gronga. Summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Uh, the Watchtower was destroyed. Uh, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Is that so? The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do the Greybeards want with, with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Did you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragon boy. Nord nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenue. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? 
That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeard's hurt them. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to hunt? You better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeard. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once, did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder if the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <laughs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service to me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. The greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business. Okay, uh... <sighs> so let's go over a few things that are going to happen. I need to spend some attribute points. We obviously want to increase wisdom for that skill gain. Endurance as well. Those are going to be probably our two biggest ones. Secondly, we need to go over here and use this to disenchant some gear we have that we don't want to keep. Uh, we need to go over here and bam. Okay, so these are unique weapons. You get this is a unique weapon you get for being Thane of Whiterun. Don't get rid of this. Uh, don't get rid of it. No, do not disenchant that. The Sky Sword Hood, we will disenchant. The Ring of Resist Magic, disenchant. Minor Smithing, disenchant. All of this, including the Neophyte Robe. Bam. Minor Stamina Necklace, sure. Do not disenchant the Bandolier stuff and disenchant the Hide Braces of that. So, we also got a level up. Let's go ahead and spend that on finally some Magicka. Lovely. Now that archery was a little bit worthwhile, but we want one-handed mastery up to two. Which should be lovely, and spend any additional attribute points, we do not get any extras. And then take these spell tomes we saw earlier, Bound Claw and Bound Claw Left. It's a lovely thing. Now that we're Thane, we actually get to have certain privileges. Anything under a certain value, we can just take. Although we will be stealing all these cards, which are useful as fate cards. We do not take anything from the cheap chest. No. There's some things I need to look for in this place, as I will not be coming back often. Uh, if we can take something, we will take it, including chicken feathers, titanium ore, anything that is not accounted as stealing right here. Uh, we will actually also take what is considered stealing, but just do it outside of sight. Uh, let's go in this room. So, we will be taking Lydia as a companion. However, we will not be going straight for the uh, Greybeards. No. Our little Rosemary thinks this is a bit of nonsense and doesn't want to keep getting strung along when she doesn't exactly know who she is or where she is. Let's take the draw of reflexes. Ooh, some honey. Nom, 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 nom. So, she does not want to get basically caught up in this any further, at least for the time being. We'll give her a reason to come back out of this later. Aha! The golden ship model. This is unique. That is another display we have. So, Abalone we will take. Lavender Septims. And these things are all of use to us. What I want to do is we're going to kill some bandits, get a better grip of our abilities, and then we'll get ready to head towards Solitude. If you know it's a Solitude, you know what's coming. If you don't, I'm about to tell you once I burp. But Had that a coming and could not Keep it down. I have acid reflux. So, what essentially is in solitude is a museum. What's in that museum, you may ask? Well, literally nothing. Except for a bunch of displays that are all empty. 
It's strange, isn't it, that there would be so many empty displays in a place that is literally a museum. Well, that's our job to fill them. And we'll figure out what all that means later. I, there can be ingredients in here for actual that. What do we have here? Achievement unlocked. Oh, take what's in here. Sorry. But, um, yeah, we're going to head up there. And that also has the chance to become a player home of sorts. We're going to want to basically... We're heading to the Arles Quarters. I did not mean to head into the Arles Quarters. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Well, uh, we're still going to go back here, but I'm going to see if there's anything worthwhile of taking. Uh, essentially, we want to start on that as soon as possible. Uh, getting that as a player home as soon as possible would be lovely. So that's exactly what we want to try and do. We're going to steal whatever we can from this place. Not a cup. I don't need a cup. Ew. Not, not, a, not a little glazed cup. It's not even worth enough. Ugh. I'm going to steal stuff. Don't make it be a glazed cup. We're going to sneak around here. So. Ooh, a display case. Hope you don't mind me taking this, Mr. Baldroof. It was gold. There's a chest here. Ooh, some septums. A white run guard's help. Do, do I not already have that? I think I do. I do. We just need some guard gloves and we have a full set of guard armor. Now, what else you got in here, old man? Septums, lavender. Ooh, an eye patch. You know what? We'll take the eye patch. And, uh, we'll see. This probably, I'm gonna be real, this is probably gonna cover the eye that I actually use outside of my, um... Yeah! <laughs> No, we don't need the one covered by hair to be... Well, maybe. Maybe that'd be a cool look, like it's all scratched out on one side and you have hair on the other, but we'll take the emerald of Kinnereth and a bit of a gemstone. Did we check this? I think we did. Ooh, even if we did, ooh, are we left behind noble armed guards? Well, that's fine. Open the door. Oh, I know where we are now. White Run Guard's armor. Let's see what's in this display case. Open sesame. Literally nothing. May as well get the lock picking up. Oh, what is that? That looks like a cool sword. Oh, it's master locked. Okay. Gotta be a lot more careful. I was treating it like it was adept or novice. Okay. We start going on the right. Every two ticks. Oh, oh, we got a little tick. There we go, there we go. Oh, that did not work. So let's check. It's two over. Go further. No, no, not that way. This way. No, not that way. Okay. Thought I had it. That way. Oh, no. Fuck. Right there. Oh, we got it. Balgruf sword. <laughs> oh, my. Well, Balgruf. I hope you don't mind me taking that for my own. I will harvest your lavender. Yeah, I really don't think you're supposed to be here, but not like they're able to kick me out right now. Or even if they are, they don't know I'm here. Shit. I am running a little low on lockpicks. Good. Get that open. What's in here? Ooh, some right, white, right one? White run styled swords, I'm guessing. White run guard sword and a veteran's wear axe. Oh, these are cool things. A bandana is not very cool on its own without someone good wearing it. You don't mind me being here, right? Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Mm -hmm. You look tired. Oh, they don't mind me being here. Obviously, they don't want me to be uh, stealing their stuff, which I will do anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Thane now, so they just let me in. Okay. Well, we'll still take the sneaking EXP we get by just sneaking around them. You know, it's good to have. We'll take what. Oh, an augmenting. I forgot to mention, you can just find augmenting stuff randomly instead of dis, uh, dis, disenchanting. Uh, breaking apart a bunch of gear. We're going to take literally everything that's in there. Not even going to bother. Uh, we're going we're gonna to put the lantern we grabbed. I think I saw a lantern. That I grabbed. We also have a Debella there. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, lantern. There you go. 
Take that back. I don't want a lantern. I uh, will take lavender, though. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. Just harvesting lavender. Don't mind me. Stealing all your stuff. Don't mind me. I can't sing. So. Ooh, rising thread. I don't really want to be taking too many books yet. We'll get to why maybe later. Uh, but who knows? Maybe I'll regret this later and I'll come up, end up crawling back, taking all the books I didn't grab the first time around, but oh well. Now one final room, I do believe. Okay, this one's properly guarded. Hmm. But here we have the unusual gem. We needed to get that sooner rather than later. Otherwise, I'd forget to come back here. Or no, I would have to come back here, but I would still forget to. No, don't mind me. Don't see me. You don't see nothing. Don't mind me. Ooh, there's a... Okay, we'll take the skill book, though. Oh, I can just take it. I thought I was not fully hidden, so, you know, don't... Don't rush it. I don't think you're supposed to be able to open that. At least not that way. The Moonstone Chest! Oh! Okay. So these have very, very good items and very, very valuable items. Oh, and silver ingots out the ass! Thank you. But these have very good items, although the problem is, well, three lockpicks. All I have left is three. And it's a master lock. Fuck. Okay, let's not check that side anymore. Okay, we found it. We found a bit. Let's move here. Be very, very careful. No. No, that doesn't move it. Okay, this way. Fuck! Last lock pick. Fuck! Oh, that was so close! No! Oh, the Moonstone Chest! Oh, the value! All oh, the valuables! Oh! Okay, well... I mean, that's just... That's just saddening. Oh, uh, don't let me forget that's there. Don't let me forget. Let's take literally all this, including the rolls of paper. Those can be used and will be used. Okay, we open the door. Let's get him moving back into the main entry area. I think you might be in the wrong place, friend. Oh, I definitely am. Let me just leave. Oh, that was. Oh yeah, you're a little shit, ain't you? Shut up, you little kid. Seems these aren't registering as unread, but it's not like we want to take them yet. Oh, uh, we don't go up that way. Is there anything over this way we want? I don't think it is, but we do need to speak to Lydia still as well. So, let's head down this way, and we'll go get Lydia on our side. Hello, Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a fame? What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of fame is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Huh. Well, what does a house Carl do? As my fame, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own. With my life. Hmm. Well, follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Lovely. I have a house car. So, 31 NPC managed slots by AFT are remaining. Certain characters that we are going to have as followers, we are going to remove from being managed by AFT because we want the main ones we're going to be using to be managed by AFT, not all the ones we're going to be dragging to the museum and rehoming there in the capital of Skyrim. So, 
I'd also like to introduce you, I know we said this before, but I'd like to introduce you properly to the Sage Crafting Table and the Art of Sage Crafting, as it's called. Essentially, this is not as grand as it sounds. You can make these tomes that you can put on your back. Yes, it was. But essentially, the better you are at something, the better you make these, I believe is how it is. So, as I have a higher base conjuration as a Breton, and I've used it a bit, my conjuration spell tomes are Apprentice, 20% more powerful. Or you can do Alteration, or Destruction, or Illusion. But what's really nice, too, is that if you want to enchant them on your own, you can, and you can add World's Dawn enchantments to them by moving them from other gear. This will be really nice later. Don't forget this table's here. We'll come back for it if we can. The hell was that? Ah, Fiona. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. And don't you forget. Greetings. Need something? Ah, uh, well. Lovely weather we're having. It can't be helped. I was hoping to, uh, because hmm. with Speechcraft as well in mod, I wanted to introduce to you. I kind of picked a bad NPC to do it with. But um, you can do just about anything with anyone. So you can either have them help me with something, which is command, which is just when you tell your follower to open a door or something, that's what that is. You need a coin or two. You can beg if you look. The less, more beggarly you look, the less valuable your equipment you have on. The better that works. Your mother's a horker. You can fight them. You can gift them something. You can trade with them if they allow you. You can try and trick them. Uh, make them follow you for a while. Or teach me. So let's see if they can teach me. No, I don't think so. Ah, oh, what a shame. Whatever skill they're highest in is the one they will train you in. So anyone can be a trainer. Doesn't mean they'll all be good trainers, but they can be. I can even ask you. What you need. Irolef, would you mind training me? Nah, I don't think so. Ah, and that's even with, mind you, increased uh, speech. Well, it's up to 29 from, you know, nothing. So it's probably not the greatest yet, but we do have plenty of carry weight being used up. We have Thum Faron, the Sword of White Run, the Veteran's Wear Axe. I'm not sure why it's called Wear. It's supposed to be War, but it's Wear. The White Run Guard Sword, the Tomahawk, Balgruf Sword. And we have a lot of stuff that we could be basically using, you know? Or be putting on display. That's what I'm getting at. What we need to do next is kill some bandits and we need to head to solitude. But first, let me quick save and write a quick journal entry about killing a dragon for our dear Rose Mary. So, dear Rosemary has killed a dragon, a beast more than triple the size of any man or beast. She bashed its skull in with a giant mace and gained its power and shouted, she's some myth, some legend, and being summoned by Greybeards? No, no, she needs to get rid of this feeling to get her bearings and her head straight. And that she shall do. So what we're going to do outside of this whole, you know, yada yada moving around is we're going to head up to a bandit camp. It's usually right about there, I do believe. We'll head to Rasad's caravan and we're going to go beat their skulls in. And then after that, we'll make our way back and we'll talk to the caravan person. And the next time we'll see us in solitude. But that's, we're not there yet. No, 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 we're not there yet, so I'll see you when we're at Rasad's caravan site. All right, we're at the caravan site. No one's here, so we'll get ahead in about northwest, but let's start heading north first, following the edge of the city. We'll also gather what we can while we're here. I am sorry, YouTube is going to be a bit weird with the whole darkness thing. I'm going to wait, actually, just until it should be. We'll do 12, would be 9 a.m. So let's do about 7 a.m. We'll say we were out by the side, clearing our head, quote-unquote. This should make it a bit brighter, but not be completely... Oh, there we go, 6 a.m., that'll do. 
And as you can see, the foliage has drastically changed from normally, th normally, normal thanks to full scar, I believe the mod is. That basically makes each hold have its own kind of actual uh, grassery. So the rift has very uh, cold, not cold, but um, essentially, what would you call it, autumnal colors. White Run has very big fields, mostly of wheat, and so on and so forth, with Solitude probably being the most dull in that it's just green. But anyways, there should be some bandits up this way. Lydia, are you with me? You ready? We're gonna bash some bandit skulls in. Come on. Come on! Show me what you got, smugglers! Come on. Oh, did I? I'm pretty sure you're gonna die! And we're also going to feed off your corpse. I feel better already. Now, show me how terrible you are at dying. More. You must feed more. That is two feedings total. We'll take literally everything off the bandits as we need to get um, dismantling these things. And trust me, it's not gonna be the least of them. It does seem there's a bit of a delay whenever we do things, but that is the third feeding, as it says. Ooh, a note to Akari. You can take those prices and eat them. We found our own source of skooma now. The real staff, not that watered-down third-hand trash you've been selling. And don't even think about writing us out. One word to the guards, and I'll make sure they know what that seed of yours is really up to. Mmm. Lovely infighting. Unfortunately, um, I'm pretty sure this chest is locked. And, um, well, we don't have any lockpicks now, because I broke them on Master Locks. Yep, once you enter this area and take the skooma or whatever's up there, they get pretty pissed and they come around the rest of the smugglers. Okay, we need to use my vampiric drains. POW! Fight magic with magic! Fuck! You! Time to pull out something else. What's gonna deal the most damage? Balgruf, your sword. I'm stealing it. You come here. You are mine as well. You're not gonna die from it. Oh dear, I think we're a little glitched. Um... No, oh, she got fed up on, apparently. Okay. Um, can I interact with the stuff again, please? 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 No, am I, am I permanently glitched? Am I gonna have to go backwards in time to... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, oh there we go. Whew. Yeah, that can be a bit buggy. <laughs> Let's be real, it can be a bit buggy. We're taking anything that can be wielded or put on, essentially. Um, and we need to take that, and we need to dismantle it all. 
You had some pretty interesting stuff. I'll go over everything I have just now. Can't do that well in... I'm not in combat, game. Game, I am not in combat. It thinks there's enemies over there that I can't... Okay, hold on. I'm lugging all this trash all the way over here. Hold on. Come here. Give me your shit. There we go. Okay. Uh, ooh, Lydia. I just thought about it. Lydia. I'm right behind you. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. At your service. Yep. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I need you to take literally everything here that I'm not wear. Are you going to put that on? Okay, you're going to put that on. I'll take that back from you later, trust me. Uh, you just have steel stuff, right? You have, uh, you have Keener. What the fuck were you wearing? I'm going to take all that back off you later. Um, didn't really want you wearing it. Gosh, you are, you're in a state, aren't you? I'll guard you with my life. Okay, hold on. We got more stuff for you to carry. Hold on. I am sworn to carry your burden. Yes, you are. Trust me, you are. Now, let's put all this stuff away that I don't need on me. I need to break down later. Ugh. There we go. Let's go kill the enemies that are fucking annoying and preventing me from dismantling gear. Apparently they're over here. Oh yeah, they're just up on the cliffside, millions of miles away. Have no clue where I am. Come on then. Who are you lot? Ah, oh, it's the bandit chief. Foosh! Yeah? Is that so? Okay, we're getting a bit overrun here, Lydia. Where are you? Foosh! This is more than one bandit chief! What, were they having a meeting? Ow! Oh, that was a stab. You are stabbing me. No, you don't. You will not submit. You will die. Where's my bow? Where's my spring steel bow? Where is she? There. You think you can run? Hide? Cower? Okay, seriously, quit running. You're literally fleeing from me and you're asking if that's all I got. Is this a joke? Where the... What the fuck are you... Please don't kill me! No, I think I'm going to. Game? G game. Yeah, he's, he's supposed... Game? Guess he just bled out quite a while later than I expected. Okay. Uh, where are the three corpses I just left? Here they are. We're gonna have to wait till I can interact with stuff again. I need to stop doing that force feeding when they're in the dying state, because apparently the game doesn't like that. At all. Like, at all, at all. Uh, right yes, I know you're right behind me. Um, game, please. Oh, God. Come on. Seriously? Look, my character's right here. It's the middle of the day. She's not burning. Please, just... Oh, her face is literally morphing off. Okay, that's... Mm, okay, we can search them finally. Take literally everything off of them. Literally everything. Ooh, you had a forgotten magic thing. <whistles> we'll take what's on you as well, and we'll mine these ore veins as well. Corundum. Lovely. Now, Lyria. I'm afraid all that stuff you had? Yeah, I'm gonna need it back. No, you will use your steel sword that is fine. You will not use any of this. Put all your normal stuff back on. Very good, man. And then if I pull... Okay, you do need your sword back. I am sworn to carry... I'm literally giving you a sword. Don't be like that, okay? Here, take a white one guard sword. White one. White one. You lead, I'll 
Yes, I know, and let's get a dismantling now that I can. Do I have any lockpicks as well? Oh, I have some lockpicks. Let's go back to the, uh, not the other thing, but the, um, bingo bob the chest that was locked at the smuggler's den. And we were going to head further north, but we won't do that just yet. I think that's enough for today, honestly. All this fatigue and arcing, bleh, with all this steel stuff. Get rid of that. Not the Sword of White Run, though. Nope. Uh, see, oh dear, okay, we're running out of space to put stuff, because even this has a weight limit. So we'll go back up this way while it is getting rid of the stuff. It'll show up in just a second how much augmenting dust. This is quite a bit of valuable stuff, so hopefully 31. That's better than normal. Usually it's somewhere in the 20s. So, go up here, and Cerulean Alchemist gear, 20 Magicka, we don't need that. See, we'll guard... The eye patch, the face masks, the fur armor, the gold necklace we got. Can't really sell that to many people because it's stolen. Uh, we'll get rid of all this as well. And we'll check the armor for certain. We want to keep those boots for the enchantments. We want to be able to use them later. Uh, leather armor, leather boots, leather bracers, leather helmet. Uh, some gear there and here. Some studded armor we probably want to get rid of. But oh, no, 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 not the white run guard stuff. Nope, don't want to have to kill a guard later, although we can, I don't want to have to. And then we're good there. Boom. And a gem! We didn't even get dust from that start. Well, we do get dust as well, but we got a gem from some of it. Boom. There we go, 35 dust and a gem. As you can see, the more stuff you do and the better quality it is. We also missed this book. I should have taken. Pickpocket increase. Uh, let's get this chest open. Okay, see, where's the... What the fuck? This is a depth. Where? What the fuck? Oh, that's... That's a starting bit. Oh, fucking hell. I'm already down to one again. What the fuck is this lock? What the fuck is this lock? There. Aquamarine, garnet coin, sapphire coin, septum, steel arrows, and double potions. We'll also take that stuff just to break it down. You know, always nice to be able to break this stuff down. Dismantle it. Wham. There we go. Check for any ingredients. And then we're going to head back to the carriage, take a carriage to solitude, and that will be the end of today's little escapade. How's that sound? I think that sounds lovely. Thanks, Mango. Wow. I talk to myself. Crazy, right? Crazy. Ooh, a little bit of extra tundra cotton. We'll go ahead and fast travel now that we can over to the White Run stables. All right, we're back at the stables, and as you can see right over here, we have the dearest carriage. Good boy. Now, my good sir, yes? I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to Solitude, or what is it, the Hjalmar or Harfingar? Straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere? Hafingas, take me straight to solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All the way back to get the most power out of your shot. Thank you, Lydia. I did have a bow equipped. Uh, carriage, use? There we go. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Ah. Uh, as you can see, we've reached our destination of solitude. Now, unfortunately for you, that's where this episode ends. We'll get right up here on this little cliff, and we're in the shade, so our skin shouldn't burn quite so much. So, thank you for watching, as next time, having killed the dragon here, we will be making our way to the museum up in solitude to really show you where things get done. In case you didn't know, what's up there is going to be the basically the home base of the series. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.